I've got some other bag items here. Stick around and see what I've got this time. If it's your first time here, click on the subscribe button and on the bell icon to get notifications about new videos. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoy it. So which one should we start with? Let's go with this one here. I think I know what this is. I don't think this one's very exciting, so we'll, we'll um, kind of skip by it, I think, if I can figure out to get into it. Someone complained about my ram knife the other day, this thing here, saying it looks unprofessional. So fine, I'll go back to this. But give me your opinion in the comments below. Do you think I should use a real knife? Or do you think I should have something quirky like a ram knife? Let me know. I mean, how many other people have got ram knives? How many? Anyway. I think that's the front of the box there. Feels like the front of the box. Wasn't quite sure where it is, so I'm just sort of cutting everywhere. A couple of screwdrivers. And it's a battery. Right. Initial test. Balance it in the middle. Does it balance? Eh, ish. Yes, it does. Not a fake battery. Right. If you get a battery and you, you try and balance it in the middle, roughly in the middle of the battery, and it doesn't balance, you know, by a long way, it's a long way off, then um, it's a fake battery. This one seems like it's okay. This one does seem to balance about right. Yeah. So that's roughly in the middle, and that's balancing. So this will probably be full capacity as it's, as it claimed to be. The last one I purchased um, was fake. It felt a bit light, and it didn't balance in the middle. This one does. So this is for 15-inch MacBook Pro. I'll probably stick a link down below for this. So if you want a battery for 15-inch MacBook Pro, um, check the links out down below. Next thing. I've got no idea. I've got about 20 packages here. I'm just going to go through and do a few mailbag videos, all in one go. So I don't know what I've got in any of these packages. They're all just random stuff, things I've completely forgotten I've even purchased. So I, this is a surprise to me as much as it is to you. Okay. This is a MacBook Logic board. Um, I'm trying to repair a 15 inch 2012 right now. What's the model number on this thing? I can't remember this. 82330 or 3330. I need some spares. Some parts I'm suspicious about on that board. So I've got. I think I used my last spare board. Yeah, I used my last spare board, cut the parts of that. And I thought they're quite important parts, so I've got another spare. And unfortunately, I have the major parts already removed. Um, having a PCH on it would be quite nice, but yeah, you yeah, never quite get that lucky, do you? But the um, SMC is on there. Um, obviously, video RAM's gone, that sort of stuff. But some of the main parts are there. A lot of these things you don't really worry about, but it's just the things, the main things, the SMC, and a couple of bits like that. But generally, they're not a lot of use. Just handy to have for individual parts, you know, individual components, which may be corroded, like visitors' capacity, that sort of thing. So, yeah. Anyway, that's what it that is. Nothing that exciting. So it's in here. Not a bit far away my zoom, eh? Zoom in slightly. Zoom, oh, that's it. Uh, this zoom. Right, here we go. What's this? Hmm. Five parts, what are they? Uh, hmm, five ICs. I'm not quite sure what these are. Let's get closer. 4056A. I think these were for a project for a repair I was doing for someone. If I remember rightly, 4056A. Yeah, I think these are used in like a insect repellent light thing, which they've, they've asked me to fix for them. I think that's what it was. I think there's like some kind of MOSFET or something, if I remember rightly, or something like that anyway. I'll, I guess I'll find out. Next thing. It's from Banggood. What is this? This is a little infrared detector. Passive infrared. I'll chuck links down below for these as well. I purchased a few different ones recently. This is from Banggood. I got some from AliExpress as well, some different styles. This is for a project I want to do where when I'm doing live streams, I want to make an automatic switcher. So when I come over to my bench here and I'm live streaming, it will detect them over by the bench and it'll switch cameras for me because I want to use an Arduino, which is uh, probably this one here I'm going to use. 
Pro Mini is it? Something like that. It's because it's got a USB port on it. You plug into a computer, make it simulate a keyboard. And then use sensing with the PIR. And um, when it senses movement over here, it'll send a command as a keyboard to the computer and do like a scene switch, hopefully. That's the plan, anyway. But I've got to make it yet, yeah, obviously. I'm just trying. I've got various parts. I've got a few different ones. I've shown previous mailbags anyway, so you'll see them all. But yeah. Yeah. Double check. Yep. So these are just some MacBook Pro 40 pin LVDS cables or cable connectors. So these are for the 2012 model. Let's just get closer. Hopefully they're right. I'm just trying to see them inside the packaging there. Yeah, with a 40 pin anyway. But it's supposed to fit the 2012 because the 40 pin between 2011 and 2012 is different. It's a slightly different connector. So hopefully. Hopefully this is the right one now. I think it probably is. Because I've been trying to repair one and the connectors I had weren't the right ones and they didn't fit properly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what's in this one? This could be a MacBook extravaganza. It bloody well is. Sorry guys, I'm, I'm going to have to find some other packages. <laughs> These are MacBook 40 pin LVDS connectors. I didn't, I actually had the wrong ones. I only had um, some for 2011, not 2012. I mentioned these in previous mailbag. And um, I've got some different ones. So I've purchased a few different ones from different suppliers. Reason being, if one supplier's incorrectly um, stated what they have, at least I won't end up being stuck with the wrong item. So having different suppliers send the same item, it, my chances of getting the right parts pretty good. That's what I found anyway. But so far they're all the same, so yeah. Oh, it wasn't here. I, I'm letting my side down, I, I should be using this. Uh, where's my gimmick? So these are just some little PCBs. What do I get these for? SOT 89, one side. And SOT 223, the other side. Um, I don't remember why I purchased these. I've got absolutely no idea why I purchased these. Um, I think it's to do adapting of something, something, I don't know. I, I don't remember. I bought them for something, I have no clue what. <laughs> I'm sure it'll come to me eventually. Alright, so SOT223 that side and SOT89 that side. So there's obviously different form factors, so you've got to, to the, the service mount device there and it goes to a header, pre header connection instead. So that's the reasoning for those. And being, you know, double sided. Uh, I don't know, maybe I've got them because I thought I'd need them one day for something. I really don't know. Uh, yeah. So, thanks for watching. Check out the links down below and make sure you subscribe, click the bell icon, that sort of stuff. Ch clicking the bell icon is in your benefit because it means you don't miss out on my future videos, anything I may be publishing, maybe a repair video, maybe some coding, although I don't do much coding, but it could be anything I'm working on, you know, it could be a bit of test gear, computer repair, whatever. Whatever I'm fixing or playing around with at the time, you know, it could be some cool, really cool review like this thing here, which you've probably already seen. PDVS2 Mini. That's a really cool piece of gear. Um, you know, things like that. Make sure you subscribe and click that bell icon to make sure you get those notifications. And um, help support the channel by using the links down below. You can buy things from my Teespring store if you want some merch. Um, I've got um, Amazon store as well. You can buy you know, links, items through that. Although it's not very popular, I have to admit. Um, but I've got a store there with a whole bunch of items listed on there. 
obviously the Banggood links most definitely use Banggood if you use my link down below for Banggood to get there and um, buy items because that way I get a commission on anything you purchase not necessarily the exact item which is in the link but you could buy something else using my link and I still get some kind of benefit from that which helps to support the channel helps me to buy things from Mailbag so thanks for sticking around catch you later and thanks for watching to the end you're a great person